Hello, and thanks again for tuning in to this video. We're in the book of Jude. We're talking about contending for the faith, and today we're going to look at the fourth example that Jude gave to the saints in regards to them earnestly contending for the faith, which was once handed down to the saints. Now, when we talk about contending for the faith, we're actually talking about contending for sound doctrine as opposed to false doctrine. This is why the warning was, certain men had crept in, men unaware came into the church and began to teach things that were wrong. One, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, and number two, denying or contradicting the Word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Word of God made flesh. Now, we've talked about the Jews, the children of Israel, who were delivered and then later destroyed. Talked about fallen angels, how they were destroyed. They left their habitation. We talked also about um, well, the third one here yesterday, Sodom and Gomorrah. Today, we want to talk about Cain. I want to read here verse... Uh, verse 10 and 11, and this is re in regards to the false teachers and false prophets, or let's say it this way, false teachings that is among the church. The Bible says that in the latter days some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And the fruit of those doctrines is instead of healing, there is suffering. Instead of wholeness, there is an emptiness. Let's look at this fourth example, verse 10 and 11. It says, but these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Now, their big problem is that they, they speak only from the natural. They can only understand things from the five senses. They do not have that sixth sense of faith. They don't understand the spiritual realm or the spiritual kingdom. And this is exactly what was wrong with the situation in regards to Cain. Cain and Abel, two brothers. Now it says here in verse 11, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. Now what is the way of Cain? Of course we know that Cain became jealous and angry at his brother and eventually murdered his own brother and God placed upon him the mark of Cain as a murderer. Now murder, in, in the New Testament today, Jesus said if you hate your brother, you've done murder. So murder is not just a physical act anymore. The murder is a spiritual act as well. When you hate somebody, when you have a vendetta against somebody, when you'll do things to hurt them, to wound them, to uh, misrepresent them, to tear them down, speaking evil against them. Well, they were speaking evil of things that they did not know. They did not understand the spiritual realities around them. And so they made the same mistake. They killed their brother or they killed their brother as Cain killed Abel. Now, this refers to jealousy. How many Christians today are, are full of jealousy? How many Christians today hate their neighbor, hate their, their brother? They can't even get along with a husband and wife relationship. They're, they're angry. They're always hateful. This is the way of Cain, hating other people. And again, Jude brings them into remembrance of these examples and this example in regards to Cain. They needed to know. They went in the way of Cain. They went to kill their neighbor. What, why? Because Abel was Abel offered a better sacrifice. God accepted Cain's sacrifice as well. But Cain's sacrifice was of his agriculture, of his farmland. But his brother Abel brought a sacrifice to God that was even more holy and more acceptable. It was a blood sacrifice. And God accepted that one more than and appreciated that one. He Again, we got this jealousy today. Who's got more money? The 1%. We got people. Even Christians are saying this. They want to, they're coming down on the 1% people and stuff like that. And they hate the rich. They hate the poor. Come on. Let's walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's love one another. Let's not hate one another. Let's not try to keep up with the Joneses. Let's not be jealous and envious of other people. This is the way of Cain. It's not the way of Christ. You think about that. God bless.